our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Damian Maia! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Nick Diaz! You ready to fight? Ready? Well, how good is it to see Nick Diaz, the pride of the 209, back in the octagon tonight? Unfortunately, inactivity has become part of the narrative, but there's no denying when Nick Diaz competes, it is must-see television. He's always fighting one of the better fighters in the world. More often than not, his hand will be raised. Nick Diaz in another huge spot in his MMA career tonight. Got that leg up quick. Beautiful head kick lands. Oh, nice straight pass there. It must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Diaz. And now he's secured back position. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Oh, nice jab by Diaz. Well, fear is not a factor for this strike. With as we expected, everything being thrown by Danny. He throws everything so hard, but he said to us, when we talked to him earlier in the week, he goes, I'm not afraid of anything. I don't care if I get taken down, long as I get to put some leather on the guy that I'm fighting before. Down to three minutes now to go on the round. and lift and mass so he can start to make a trap with him. Oh, Diaz, his nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but... DC, he's in a world of trouble now. They say his great are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he can bring at him. Ooh, you heel hook attempt now, and it looks locked in. Ooh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Oh, somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. Huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh! Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Oh! He's hurt bad. Well, it's not due to a lack of effort. He continues to throw, but this is like double-A striking. This is not high level. Yeah, you can't be missing. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike. But to be whiffing like this, it only exhausts you. Because every moment he's trying to throw to knock his opponent out, you're just catching air. It, it doesn't feel good. It's also embarrassing. Four sets for the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this. It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination.
Oh, we set it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is...